Okay. Uh, our last program was a simple uh, Hello World program. Okay. What we did in our last program uh, was just uh, printing a Hello World onto the screen. Okay. Uh, just that we just printed Hello World onto the screen. Okay. Uh, this time uh, we're just going to do a bit more. Okay. What are we going to do this time? We're just going to print an exchange rate uh, table for dollar and uh, rupees okay and this will uh, just show you how the output of our program is going to look okay so in comment okay so this is how we write comments in c okay uh, so first of all we're going to print the exchange rate so rate will be one dollar dollar equal to 42.3 rupees okay and we're just going to print a table of uh, for dollar and rupees for different denominations okay the table is going to just look exactly like this dollar and uh, rupees one dollar will be 42.3 rupees okay two dollars uh, will be 84.6 okay so the maths and uh, three dollars will be 126 point and before uh, please don't curse me if it's wrong, okay? So we just got to end the comment, okay? So this is exactly how our output will look, okay? So let's uh, write a program. So we're just going to start with uh, this hash include stdio.h, okay? So we're just going to print onto the screen. So we have to have an io include. So we are having stdio.h, okay? And we're going to start with main, 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 and uh, we're going to start the program and end it right away so that we don't make mistake. Okay, uh, I pointed to you on the last program. Okay, and um, I'm printing exchange rate. Okay, so and all right, I'm printing exactly as I had showed you. Do Slash in for introducing a uh, new line in the program as I had pointed to you in the, our last program. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to print the exact table now. So to print uh, um, IP short, okay. dollar. Uh, okay. You need to see that there is a tab between dollar and rupees in the table. So I'll introduce a tab. To introduce a tab, I have to do an exchange character slash t. Okay. So slash n and slash t uh, belong to a special belong to special characters. Uh, these are called escape sequences. Okay. For example, slash n introduces a new line in uh, the output, and slash t introduces a tab. Okay. So whenever you need a tab, use slash t. Okay, dollar rupees and slash uh, and okay, and then we're going to print the values. Mm, one, so we're just going to print the table literally. Okay, there's no logic or intelligence inside this program. Okay, we're going to add logic and intelligence to the program uh, in the next version of the program. So, but for now, we're just going to print the table as it is. Okay. And, uh, okay. I think we are done. Okay. Okay. Good. The program came inside a screen. All the entire program is inside single screen. Good. Uh, so let's see. Uh, we just saved this program as exchange rate dot c. Okay. So we have the program. Okay. Let's compile it. It's compiled well. It's, so the output file is a dot exe as usual. So let's just compile a dot exe. Okay. Cool. Uh, as you see, right? Uh, we have the entire table as I had. Uh, sorry. Let me just show you the entire table. Okay, so you have the exchange rate, and then you have the table. Okay, so you know, uh, I guess this program does solve a problem. Okay, but uh, does this program actually have any problems? Actually, yes, because you know, I just uh, 
printed the way you know the way I wanted. I just used printers and I didn't use anything. There's no logic. There's no intelligence in this program. Uh, can this program be improved? Uh, can we have some logic? Can we have some um, intelligence inside this uh, program? Absolutely yes. Okay, that's what we're going to see in our next program. How we can. Uh, actually improve this program to be much much better you know in various aspects uh, like uh, you know modifiability usability a host of other things you know making programs being uh, well maintained and all that okay so uh, so that's it uh, let's see in the next program how we can make this much better okay that's it i'm done